All right. I. All right. All right. I get it. Gladys clips. Let's go. I call this piece. You know what? It doesn't matter what it's I, called. The important thing is you enjoy it as fast as you can. Trying to do an intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to PA's Perpetual Testing. Today we're looking at Boing Boing. All right. By. Uh, oh shoot! I know exactly who sent this. It was Deathwish. Deathwish eight oh eight. So, what? am I to do in this test chamber? Well, obviously I have a couple of things that I can manage. I can place portals, get up here. It's got a... V uh, actually, hold on a sec. Let me just comment. I like the look of this map a lot. I don't know what it is. I don't know what these little yellow bits are, and I don't know how he got them there. Actually, I do. They're part of the old aperture pack, aren't they? The old aperture texture pack. Oh, and there's a turret in, the, in our cube over there. Alright, fair enough. The old Aperture texture pack is not really ever one that gets mixed. I'm assuming this was a hammer map. In fact, I'm almost positive. I don't think this is even physically possible in the regular map editor, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. If that's the case, I'm sure somebody will let me know, and that's actually probably a good thing. I could definitely do with someone letting me know that I'm wrong if I end up being wrong. So, let's see here. What do I need to do to progress? I obviously have a... I have a weird, like, low-to-the-ground gel? Ah, very low velocity. I've got it. Okay. And then if I were to place my blue th there instead, higher velocity so it ends up here. Or if I place my orange there... No, not there. That gets it there, and that gets it over there. So how do I get gel onto the middle part? Do I just need to jump it? Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. There's another section to the test chamber that I haven't looked at, and that is it. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to need... Bounce gel there? I mean, I, I could. That's about the only place I could put it at the moment. I... Sure, let's try it. Why not? What do I do with it? Ah, I have a portable surface. Perfect. So what I need to do is I need to bounce up there to the portable surface and use it to fling myself... Where? Well, the name of the map is Boing Boing, so the bouncing is obviously an important part of it. But, I've got to figure out some way to get myself through this area. I see what you're doing here. That's actually fairly clever. If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I'm actually supposed to fly over this. What's going to happen is I'm going to accelerate, jump, hit the bounce gel, fly through the blue portal, come out the orange portal, hit the ground, running, and go through over that, therefore leaving myself a portal on this side so I can grab the companion cube and get out? Maybe. That's a big maybe, though, especially because of the fact that I can't really reach the companion cube from here. I'll be able to jump above, yeah, but that's about it. I mean, the, the purpose of the companion cube being up there in the first place was to make sure that I could... Uh, what am I trying to say? Let's see here. All right. So, just kind of accelerate, hop, through, hop again, back over. Great. I've now landed up here, but that doesn't really do me any good. I've got to get over to the other side, somehow. Maybe. I mean, first things first, let's just place my orange portal here. Sure, why not? There's really no disadvantage to it that I can see. Hmm... So I've got to figure out a way to get up with the cube. I could try to just move this cube. I could try to move it around. That wouldn't do anything for me, though. I could try to place bounce gel on the floor, but that wouldn't accomplish anything either. I mean, if I could fling bounce gel through here, that would be able to allow me to progress at the very least. But I don't know that that's what's... Uh, that's what I need to do here. So what if, while I'm bouncing, I put, say, my orange portal there? Well, that doesn't really do anything for me, because I can't get up. I mean, I can't get up, right? I'm correct in that assumption? Good. Alright, if I could just get to the turret cube, I could at the very least place some blue gel on the turret cube and get it through that way, but no, that's not going to work out. I can get a cube through here if I absolutely need to. Which would allow me to... 
to what? What would that allow me to do? Also, what can I do with the bounce gel? Can I exit this room with bounce gel active? No, no I can't. Nor is there anywhere else I can place it. That is literally the only place I can put bounce gel. So, I'm also going to quick save because I came a little bit close to that deadly field as I just realized. There's got to be something nearby that I'm supposed to use that I'm not seeing. I mean, there are little steps all around the side. That might be useful somewhat. Eh, not really though, is it? Okay, so what if... I mean, how would I get up? Is there any method I could use to get up to the higher platform? No, there's nowhere to hop up, really. Alright, can I dispense another cube without oh, well. destroying the current one? We have warehouses full of the things. Oh, don't worry about Absolutely it. Absolutely worthless. Precisely. I'm happy to get rid of them. I get it. Anyway, here's a new cube for you to project your deranged loneliness onto. Oh, for the love of shit. Um, alright, so I've got to figure out a way to get up still. What's my way out? I mean, I can place propulsion gel. Why not? So now I have propulsion gel on this side of the wall. To what end? Why would I need propulsion gel on this side of the wall? Uh, I mean, can I ramp up or anything? Is there anywhere to go from here? I don't think so. I think this is just a ramp to let me see what's going on. I mean, I can sort of parkour my way around here. But there's nothing really to do with the parkour. It's just to get up. That's pretty much it. Alright, so... I'm still waiting for that, like... That stroke of... Just understanding to hit me. To figure out just what I'm missing... So that I might better complete the test. Hmm. Okay, so I've got propulsion gel over there. Got the ability to bounce here. Oh, didn't go fast enough. Alright, let's try that again then. Maybe I can just run straight through. Oh, I can. I don't have to jump. Great. I have an orange portal and a blue portal. Uh, can I run back through and hit the gel again? Oh, I can. I wonder if I can go fast enough. To make it over to the other side here. Hold on. Let's try this. Oh, ah, there we go. Let's quick save now. Because I've made it to the other side. I once more have access to bounce gel. And... There we go. That should allow me to get up at the very least. Now I have to remember that my blue portal is the one that has access to the bounce gel on it. I don't have the ability to get up though. I'm going to have to accelerate enough to go through here. So what? I'm figuring placing my orange portal there then? Yeah, it should work. Let's get back through. I'm going to quick save here just in case this turns out to be the wrong solution. And then I can just kind of jump back through here. Whereupon I don't get the necessary speed to go through. Alright. Hmm. Let's try jumping on this one, maybe. No, what if, what if I place this higher? I, it's like I'm hitting the ground, just barely. What does this do? Opens the door? Yeah, I'm going to have to get the cube here eventually, but... Not yet. For now, there's yet a puzzle to be solved. But what is the puzzle? What is the thing I need to figure out here? I mean, acceleration gel maybe? Hold on, can I... Oh, there we go. That'll work. That'll keep my momentum at the very least. Uh, I seem to have destroyed my bounce portal on the floor though, so let's go replace the bounce gel from here. Over here. Perfect. Alright, good. Now, I should be able to get back up there using the same method I did before. 
which is to say going back to the first area and then just kind of manipulating things from there. It's going to take a bit of doing, so I'll see you all when I make it across. Never mind, it's not going to take any doing at all. That was much easier the second time around. Okay, so blue portal is there, orange portal is here. This should keep my momentum and allow me to jump at high speed through here to get... Where? Up there? To what end? Why do I need to get up there? I need to place bounce gel eventually, but I can't see anything. Maybe something else will be revealed to me when I go up there. I'll be able to see something new. I just saved a screenshot by accident. Sure, why not? I'll keep a memory of this moment. Okay, so that didn't really work, did it? What if I placed it higher? Would that work at all? Maybe. So, let's try jumping to get a bit of height off this blue gel. Yeah, it's not really working, is it? No. Alright, so how am I supposed to get up there? Maybe if I were to just go back to the first area? But how would I get a portal there from here? I would have to keep it active, wouldn't I? Yep, alright, so I need to go back to the first area again. Oh, that's... yeah, it's not really working too, out too well, is it? If I can just get up there, hopefully I'll be able to see something, I don't know. What would I be able to see up there that I'm not able to see from here? An angle that I wouldn't be able to manipulate otherwise? Something of that sort? I don't know. Maybe there's something underneath here. Hold on, let's travel into this room and see if there's anything of note. Because the other room I wasn't able to travel into. The other room with the bounce gel I wasn't able to touch. This one is exactly the same, so never mind. I think it might be possible to get myself stuck in this room, though. Unless there's some sort of portable surface I'm able to see from here. Oh, there is. If only barely. I am able to see the bounce gel over there. Hmm. So, what is my move? Where do I go? There's no portable surface there, so I can't place any sort of bounce gel there. I have to get up whatever momentum I'm going to be doing so I can bounce backwards there. Maybe I can just accelerate even more, but that wouldn't have any purpose. It wouldn't be able to do anything. Maybe I'm able to accelerate within this room, but there's no portable surface on the wall. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to bounce my height. That might do it. Being able to bounce up to the height I need to go to get the momentum that way might work. So let's place both of my portals in this room. Oh, come on. Just let me through. Please, thank you. So blue, and then orange, and then blue everywhere else. So I get bounce gel all over this room. Fantastic. Alright. Let's leave these portals. And now that can be orange, but I don't really want it to be. So I want to place my orange over there. Okay, I've got my orange portal. I'm bouncing about to the ceiling, so this is pretty much maximum velocity for me. Then, I'll just need to place my blue portal beneath me. Easy, right? Right. Well, that seems to actually have worked, but it didn't really work out as expected. Oh, I'm definitely getting closer, I feel like. There we go. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I can get additional velocity this way. Perfect. And I lost the velocity. Wonderful. But if I press forward on that, when I'm going through that last portal, that should definitely be able to get me through. <laughs> definitely a neat trick. Alright. Let's try this. Come on. Alright. So I'm bouncing faster. It stopped bouncing for the moment. Just for a second. Increase my velocity. Oh no. I don't want my blue portal anywhere nearby or I'll immediately get funneled towards it. Hmm. There's gotta be... <laughs> I mean... If I could find a way to actually just fling myself over that way, that'd be great. But it seems like the velocity I need just isn't working out for me. I'll get back to you all when I figure this out more. 
All right. Well, I've pretty much given up on this for now. Uh, do you like that? Do you like that cut there? I returned to the same spot I was at before. It's very nice, I thought. Anyway, point is, I think that I've got it right. I'm going to have to fiddle with it to get it to work out, but I'm pretty sure that's the correct solution to getting through there. However, I'm still going to need the cube to get out. So I think my time right now would be better spent figuring out how to get the cube across. So I know that I can... What I kind of realized when I was going through is that I realized that I used the method that I had from before. The one in which I did the bounce across, right? Right here. I have a portal there. An orange portal there. And I have an area to place bounce gel here. I have a way to get up. I've been looking for that since the very beginning, and now I've finally gotten it. So, hooray. I no longer need to keep the cube on the button. Instead, now, I can just jump up. Perfect. But now, I need to figure out a way to get the cube across. I can obviously just jump back up. But, even if I get the cube across, I need to figure out a way to accelerate through there. Before, I was using this, but that's now... That's now just a spot for bounce gel. That's no good. That's, that's just... It's done. It's gone. So, what I figured, while I was... This is all just thinking off-camera, mind, is that... I can actually use this portal... A portal on this surface, much in the same way I used a portal on that surface. I'll just need to get gel here, so I need to make this jump again. One more time, because now pretty much it's the same puzzle that it was before. I'm still using the exact same mechanics I was before. The only difference is the cube is up here. I no longer have to use that bottom area because I was able to get bounce gel there through the, let's say, the highest tier of this room. I'll call them floors 1, 2, two and 3. For convenience sake, this is floor 1, that's floor 2, floor 3 is the one over there. So, I can just jump up on floor 1, so I'm on the same level as floor 2, right? And now, if I place, say, I don't know, my orange portal. Let's place my orange portal here. And then I place my blue portal here. See? Perfect. Really? Right? Or my blue portal there. Let's just put, let's put this gel everywhere. Plenty of speed. Get all that speed up. Great. And we'll be able to jump right across. Cube remains untainted. I'm not going to get that covered in water. If I did, I could technically get rid of it with the water found through these. But I don't want to get rid of my gel setup right now. So, not going to do that. So now, I need to go back across using the same method I did before. Right? Only this time, I need to go back through there. And bounce over here with the cube to get up there. Which, hopefully, will not fail in any way, shape, or form, it'll just let me through without issue. Also, the placement of the window is a little bit weird in this test chamber. It's like, it's just always there to kind of block your final fall. Anyway, orange portal goes there, grab the cube, careful to keep it far away from the emancipation grid, quick save just in case something goes terribly wrong, bounce across there. We now have a cube sitting on a wall. No, of course not, we just have a cube up here. Perfect. Now, I do think that it can work with the strategy I was using before. I think I can climb up there using that. The only problem is I keep hitting that, that little, that, that hard piece. I still think it's possible to do, make no mistake. But it's just a bit funky to try to deal with. Get through here is really dumb. Maybe I need to actually be in the air? Yeah, I suppose if I'm just walking through, it's just going to hit the... Just going to hit the bounce gel trigger, it's not going to work. But, if I'm in the air already when this works, then that might be able to, uh, let me through. Whoa! Shit, son, I just... I fucked it up. I got up there. That was exactly what I needed to do. Okay, so I know it's possible. Let's do it again. I'll meet you all when I've actually completed this part of the test chamber. <laughs> Or at the very least, completed this particular piece of floor three. So back into the back into the bouncing. Oh, there we go. Okay, I landed it. Good. Never mind. So much for I'll get back to you guys later. I'm getting better at this uh, not failing thing. Okay, now jump, bounce. Okay, and I'm at the exit. Perfect. Congratulations. This pre-recorded congratulations assumes you have mastered the principles of... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Principles of momentum, whatever. Oh man, that took a half hour. That that was a half hour on off camera. Um, on camera, hopefully considerably shorter. You don't all have to watch me messing around with the puzzle trying to get through. Oh my god. Just uh, good in general though. Good, pretty good puzzle. I like the aesthetic of the test chamber with all the yellow bits around. It was a nice change from um, well, the norm. To be completely honest, you don't normally see mixtures between old and new apertures graphic design. Um, Gladys quotes, uh, they fit, I suppose, so, you know, nah, not really here nor there on that one. Just going to kind of uh, sit neutral on that particular matter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it slide either way. Um, hmm, what else? Can't really think of much else, actually. That's, pr that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, it was a good test chamber, don't get me wrong. Good test chamber, solidly put together. So far as I could tell, there was nothing deadly about it. Okay, there was. There was one deadly field. Honestly, I think the deadly field could have been better placed as a grate, if that was possible. If you could turn the deadly field into a grate, because you can still fire through a grate and you can't pl pass through it, right? Um... Which is kind of the main thing. <laughs> I mean, you wanted something that you could fire through without moving through, but for some reason you have a deadly field there, which has the possibility of killing the player if they get too close, as opposed to, say, you know, just a regular old grate like you have in other places, which you can fire through without issue. Don't get why that's there. That's probably the only major flaw I can see in the map. Uh, everything else seems pretty solid. That final jump seems a bit finicky. Um... Maybe placing, I don't know, I don't know how you'd fix it, honestly. I mean, it's just a bit finicky. Some things are going to be... Uh, the fact that the yellow protrusions actually did end up having to be something I had to parkour on at the very end there was kind of nice. I was expecting that through most of the tests, so seeing that expectation finally pay off really was a pretty positive experience for me. Um, if that yellow block you put near the... Uh, Tilted platform near the very end was there to stop players from double bouncing and getting up that way. It worked. It stopped me. I can only assume that it was there because at some point somebody just bounced up there, ignored your puzzle with the second bounce jail room and left. Um, that's about all I can think of, though. Honestly, it's a good map. It's well put together. Not deadly. Except for, you know, one admittedly mistake. And just overall, it's, uh, it actually has a couple really clever tests in it, and it involves using the same elements you've used before, but in new and different ways, which I always think is a plus. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode, because that took a long while. So, thanks for watching, this has been PA, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another episode of Perpetual Testing. Bye! <laughs>